What up YouTube and welcome back to This Week in the Grove. So, in the little seedling tent here, what I did is I still left the purple cushions in there. I kind of, I got the seeds out. They still look like they did when I put them in. So I uh, redid the soil. I uh, put the seeds closer to the surface. And I tried to keep them wetter. And what I did do was put two seeds in the uh, rotor rooter things. What the heck are these? Uh, Jiffy greenhouse. And they're like little rotor rooter things kind of you put the water in them they swell up and plant your seeds so i got them in there and those are uh irie genetics lemon jeffrey so feminized seeds when i got the pack it came with seven seeds in it these are fairly fresh new seeds as them ones are you know like a close been stored for about a year so with that said hopefully the the uh, lemon jeffries start growing this week so we'll be keeping an eye on them to be popping up Now over here at the vegetative tent. I got the one clone of the lemon Jeff. I mean this is a, of the Arise. Another clone of the Arise. Another clone of the Arise. See this is the Arise plant that's I think the one that's drooping in in the flower tent and as you can see it's they were taken at the same time this one's a whole lot better so i think i might x me this plant and just get rid of it it's got some kind of disease or something maybe i won't spread it who knows what's going on there but all right now we're gonna bring in To the flower tent. I said this plant over here looks good. All the tops are fine. I know these uh, plants, they never did have a good structure. Actually, when I planted them, there was five males and two females. And uh, the five males had a better structure and the females didn't have as good of a structure but it is what it is now this one here you see the leaves are all droopy so hopefully we got the uh, Irie Genetics Lemon Jeffrey seeds in the seedling tent hoping they pop the other two purple cushions, those are auto flowers, so I will be, if they do pop, I'll be doing them in the vegetative, vegetative tent. But these have been flipped to flower for a few days now. They should be, uh, say, probably by the end of this week, popping some uh, flower tops on them. So we'll see how this goes. All right, everybody. That's it for today. Hopefully I can get them lemon Jeffrey's seeds popping up and we'll have another good grow going. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see everyone tomorrow back here on the same video. Welcome back to the grow.
take a look at these vegging plants. Got lots of tops on there. I just watered these two yesterday. And I got rid of the third one that was a mutant. I figured it wasn't growing very fast and it wasn't worth my time. I already got enough time into these these plants that but this one here looks like it's got a nice structure quite a few tops this one's got some tops on it too but it's a bit smaller because it's the next generation down from this one well it's the next clone it's like a clone from this plant so we're gonna keep cloning this one the other plant got x made Now these plants in general just don't seem to have a real lot of leaves or anything so I'm not pruning them down too much or anything. They don't have that much to start with and if things keep going as they do they'll yellow off and, and falling off. And so I don't think I'll be defoliating very much but I might be some and I want to get some clones off of this one here. And then in the seedling room, I do got uh, two Lemon Jeffrey seeds for my Avery Genetics that I just planted. So we'll see if those seeds come up. And hopefully they do. But this Arise plant here is looking good. That one there is looking good. And in the flower room here, I only have the two plants, but I spread this one out a little more. Got its canopy lowered down. This one I didn't quite spread out as much, but it... I don't see any buds coming up on them yet. But I figured that's going to be at least another week because it took two weeks for them to, for the top starting to come up. I think I got this thing set at about, what is it, 230 watts or something. So I got about 225 watts coming off the light. But I'm slowly going to ramp it up as... As the time goes on, this plant here, you got that drooping issue. But uh, that one's just going to have to suffer along. And this one here, hopefully, will produce better. Alright, that's it for today in the grow. We'll be back tomorrow with another update. Hopefully I'll get some seeds popping in the other in the seedling tent and, and we'll go from there. What up and welcome back to the grow. Got this flower tent. They just flipped them to flower earlier this week. 73 degrees, 55 percent humidity. They got the uh, HLG 550R spec. Pulling, I don't know if you can see it, 252 watts. There's about five watts for the fan that's running in there. I got another fan coming tomorrow, oscillating one that I'm going to throw in there with it. Um, so we're talking about 245 watts going to the light. And I'll be raising that up a little bit over the time. But we do have some good news going on also. Bring into the seedling tent here. 
and I did plant two Lemon Jeffrey Irie Genetics, and woohoo, we got them popping up. I got these other two here that ain't doing nothing. I may dig out the seeds, try throwing them in a peat pot like this, jiffy pot thing. And uh, I'm going to get those planted in uh, some cups so the root don't go to the bottom right away. But those are Lemon Jeffrey seeds feminized. So hopefully I won't have to monkey with uh, any males. Both seeds came up nicely. Bring you around here to the Arise plants. These ones are vegeta vegetative, but this one sure is starting to look better. Getting a nice form to it. A little bigger, got some tops all the way around. looking good this one's just a little one that was a clone from this one which was a clone from the ones in the in the flower room um, I got rid of the other one that was starting to grow a little mutated these ones are looking nice and good they're fairly greened up I mean they always these ones always seem to come out a little lighter green right when they come out but they green up pretty much right away they're not yellow. Um, get this one zipped up and we'll take a little walk over to the flower tent. And see what we got going in here. You know, I tried to take uh, some of these leaves. I was looking at them with the jeweler's loop, trying to see if I got any issues with any kind of the mites or anything. But all these plants have been grown from seed. I mean, these are clones, but they were clones off of plants that I grew from seed. So they shouldn't have any bugs. I've been looking at the bottom of the leaves with the jeweler's loop and and I haven't really seen anything, so we're going to be keeping testing these ones. Because it's, you know, got the drooping, it's got all the consistency looks of some, I'm trying to think of the name of the mite, but it's not a spider mite, it's a different one. A russet mite or something like that, like a russet potato. No. We will keep an eye on these. I haven't had any other bugs, no, no flies or gnats or none of that stuff. This plant over here, still looking decent. I pulled, like I said, I pulled it down, got the canopy, spread out a little bit there lower. This one, I couldn't really get the canopy down as well, but I might be pulling this branch here down some more over to the next spot just to let the light get at it and not keep it too close to the light I don't see like any light burn or anything that I'm aware of but this one does have you know the what do you call it of the uh, problems of russet mites maybe because I've been through all the nutritional things and I'm pretty sure that's not the reason why they've been yellowing I see I got a little clawing on one leaf there we got drooping got a little twisty tops on them But it is what it is. If I do get to see a mite or anything on any one of them, I'll be yanking this sucker out here quicker than quick can be. Like I said, I looked at it with the jeweler's loop. I haven't seen any conclusive evidence of anything. So, And ever since I got had 
got them under this HLG 550R spec. I haven't been noticing the leaves yellowing anymore or anything. Actually, they've actually got a little green. And I do got one yellow leaf I see down there at the bottom. But that's right at the bottom. This one has to telltale sign so so I'm going to be checking the leaves some more today and this one may have to go I'm not sure we'll see if it does I'm gonna to have to do a lot of cleaning hopefully not hopefully it'll be all right all right that's it for today in the grow we'll be back tomorrow I should have some of these things planted in some different style pots and bigger so they can keep growing I'm getting another light sim or not light fan similar to that one but one that oscillates so I can have one oscillating like maybe over in that corner or back in this corner so uh, probably back in this corner so I can get some uh, a little wave going on them instead of a steady wind all the time I'm gonna put that one down lower probably below below the canopy some and the other one will be oscillating on the plants to give them some good movement I know in the veg tent everything seems to be going good in there so when we get these lemon Jeffries going hopefully this coronavirus is over all right everybody we'll see you back tomorrow with some more video thanks for watching back at another day in the grow I didn't turn the light up it's at about 270 watts going to the light leave it at that for a couple days and then I'm gonna things look good I'll bring it up a little higher but I see that it did raise the temperature a little bit I have the setting at 75 it's blowing out at 2 which is what I have it set to the maximum to go to and the humidity is at 53 percent which is just fine I'll keep an eye on these and see, you know, what the numbers keep doing and, you know, as I turn up the light higher, it's going to get a little warmer in there. So far, so good, though, I have been able to keep it. Actually, it was a little low there till now that I just got it up higher. It's getting to the right temperatures. I'll just turn up the light in there till you know if the temperature is going to get starting too high in here we'll see what we'll do then but for now that's how we'll leave that so like I said I got like leave it at this for two days and see what the plants look like and then go from there and then planting some uh, transplanting one of the clones in here so I got some happy frog some fox farm ocean forest so I mixed one third of the one third of happy frog with two thirds of ocean forest I was doing half and half so I'm gonna try this just to see that may be too much food for them but who knows We'll see. Uh, I don't want to put the happy frog in because that's more for outdoor growing. It's a little heavier soil. So I just went from to doing a third of that, two thirds of the ocean forest, and a third of uh, perlite. Or 20% perlite. So I did mix, put them together first, and then I put 20% of perlite more on top of that. So. It does look like it's got a lot of perlite, but I think it'll be fine. So I'll bring you over. We'll take a look in here. The seedling tent. 
There's a couple coming up right there. Those are um, Lemon Jeffries. Irie Genetics. Got them transplanted into the cups. They seem to take fine. I think I'm going to lower this light down a little closer to them. I don't want them growing too tall. Don't want them stretching for the light. I notice the leaves are kind of tiny on them yet, but I'm sure they'll grow up bigger. I'm going to get this light down a little closer. And we'll go from there. <laughs> All right, and then we have in the veg tent, this is where the plant is that I'm going to be transplanting. And the tra we, oh, there's the big one, but this is its little offspring here. Um, that's the one we're going to be transplanting, and I'll be watering it. And hopefully shortly, it'll be looking like this one. I'm going to go over there, get everything ready, and then I'll be bringing the plant over and uh, popping her in. Okay, I got the plant brought over, and we'll be getting ready to throw this in there. There, we got her put in this one. Then I'm going to go bring it over and I'm going to throw it into the other tent. See, it kicked up a little bit of dust. Alright, I'm going to bring it over, put it in the veg tent. Alright, we'll bring your own over to the veg tent there we got her in there had a little bit of trouble uh, getting the plant in there but it'll be fine it'll pop up just back I didn't drop it or anything I just had a little hard time getting it out of the other bucket but I'm going to check these Ooh, that one's nice and standing up, praying. So hopefully this one looks like that one in a couple of days. I'm going to need to water it and maybe water this one also. All right, now we'll get over into the, the flower tent with your eyes. And these are rise clones and that are close in the veg tent. All right, I did turn up the light just a little while ago. It's looking like we're starting to get a little formation for some buds to start happening. So it'll be nice when these girls start budding up. These ones here. They're starting even a little earlier. Little different looking buds. But yep, there should be some buds going on these girls shortly. here got some uh, buds coming on them so all right that's it for today in the grow 
We'll be back tomorrow with some more of this episode. What up, YouTube? And welcome back to the grow. We got 52% humidity, 75 degrees in there. I got a rock and at about, what is it, it says 296 watts, but that's with two fans. So I just got myself this little Vivo Sun clip on fan, which is drawn, I don't know, about 15 watts or something. And then the other fan draws about five, so. Say it's about 20 watts less. I'm going to figure out to the exact watt so I know exactly. But look what we got here. Got the uh, Lemon Jeffries from Arise Genetics. I got this little fan in here. I'm going to lower it down a little. Maybe just to give them the teeniest bit of movement. So it gets the stems stronger. And I'm going to pull them other two out of here. So next time you're in this tent, them will be gone. All right. So the Lemon Jeffries, them will be the next grow. They're feminized seeds. Photo period, not autoflower. So I'll be able to take clones <laughs> off them. Now we got these two arise that started as clones. I see I was looking at the, trying to look at the tips of some of these just on the edge of some nutrient burn it looks like so the next water is definitely going to be just plain pH water all right now I'm going to bring in to the arise flower tent well the flower tent with the arise plant in it and now we are down to one plant. The other plant, either the hermorphodited or else I got a clone off the wrong plant. I had them all numbered and stuff and I pretty diligently went over. And I know that other plant definitely looks stressed. So we got this girl here, which is definitely a female. The other one, you know, was stressed out. It was all droopy and this one's not. So, uh, like I said, it, as soon as it started showing its flowers, it was definitely a male. Could have hermed out. I went and looked it up on, you know, the interweb and definitely had a Hermes that looked just like it because but usually Herms may not have them all over the plant but this one the whole plant was just pretty much just like a male plant so it's possible I got a wrong clone somehow but we'll be getting more off of this one and hopefully the plants I got over in the veg tent or female but only time will tell all right I kind of spread this one around this flower tent to give it a uh, some get it under the light a little better now that's up around what do we say 300 minus about oh, here's the new fan 
and you'll be able to so it's getting on the plants there's other fans when you have them direct and they're hitting the plants directly their plants don't seem very happy so hopefully this one with the oscillating fan and then I got that one just blowing the air circulating around the room I may lower it down to the floor I did have that other fan down in that corner before just like a little floor one that you could tilt up and down and so whether it will be running three fans in here or whether I take that fan and maybe put it down lower. But we'll see. But yeah, this one's definitely uh, getting ready to start budding here. So we're going to definitely call this week the first week of flower for this Arise Genetics. For my genetics and uh and that's gonna be it for today's video everyone thanks for watching and uh we'll be back tomorrow with the last day of this week what up and welcome back to the grow got 75 degrees 50 percent humidity the fans on number two which is almost as low as it goes for the inline fan i got that set at 75 degrees and it's been holding right at 75. Now, if you can see that, I got three, what, 321 watts they're pulling from the wall. But that's including the, this light up here, which pulls about nine. So it's at about 300 and what, 12 watts. And then I got the fans pulling about 20 watts or so. So we're talking maybe 295 watts at the light. For the flower room but on our way there we'll bring you around here to the seedling cloning tent and we got the two lemon jeffrey seeds along with uh two clones off of an arise plant from the veg room Looks like the Lemon Jeffries are doing just fine. They started getting a little tall, so I had to lower the light down, but I'm sure they'll be fine once the leaves get a little bigger. I'll plant, when I do transplant them, I'll, you know, plant them up on the stem a little bit to give them some more strength. All right, then I'll bring you over to the veg tent and... See what we got going in there. I haven't been able to get much done on this room since I kind of ran out of materials, but pretty quick I think I might be able to get some and start doing something again. Here's the one I took the two clones off of down, way down by the bottom. They're just small. I just want to see if they're going to take and how good they do. Then I might take some more clones off of it. And then I got this one here that I just transplanted the other day. Looks like it uh, could uh, be doing a little better, but we'll see. Give it a couple days and we'll see what happens. Alright, now we're going to bring you over here and get into this flower tent. We, one of the plants ended up either Herman or being male, but we got these this female plant here. I 
which has a few tops on it. Should get a few buds off of it. But the good news is, is I got the Lemon Jeffrey plant seeds to grow. Oop, and I got that just came on. All right, yeah, but the good news is, like I said, the Lemon Jeffrey plants are growing. And that's a good thing, so. That's it for this week in the grow. Please like, subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment, and have a good one.